I'm the next Geraldo, satanic midgets who go up on their women. <laughs> Oprah has satanic midgets who cheat on their women. Donahue has boring shows now. It's like uh, people with hiccups. That's what's on his show. I'm Paul Rodriguez and I'm, uh, I'm 30 something. I was, last year I was 30, now I'm 30 something. It's, people who are 30 something are 31. Don't worry, it gets worse. So anyways, like you, I've been affected. You know, I, I believe my generation is the unluckiest because anything that feels good or tastes good nowadays can kill you. Everything. Too much salt, bad for your heart. Too much uh, meat, you get the uh, heart again. Uh, everything. Sex is lethal now. I don't even touch myself anymore. I belong to the masturbation generation. Because I'm not going to use a rubber. It's the mechanics of using a rubber that are so tiring. It's like, first of all, you find this girl. You've been lying to her all night going, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll respect you. Yeah, yeah. You're telling her all these lies. You get there, you know, you're finally naked. And then you have to cut and run out there and find that package that you can never open at a moment like this. Your hands are sweaty, you're going, holy shit. The woman is going, what's your hurry? I'm going, oh, don't dry up on me now. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> Finally open it up. Because sex with a rubber, that's not sex, it's Tupperware. <laughs> and the biggest fear is that, by God, after you finish, if you can, you go, oh, God, did I leave it in there? <laughs> Because if you left it in there, you're going to have to go back and get it. You're going, I'm sorry, this isn't very romantic, but I left something here. I don't want you to have a kid with a wet suit born here. You pull your hand out, your watch is gone. Shit, now I... You go back in for that, you pull out two watches, you're going, shit, I'm totally confused. about it everything we do now is, uh, is unsafe like flying you can be up on an airplane 30,000 feet it becomes a convertible <laughs> and there is poetic justice because it only happens to people in first class <laughs> you notice that people in first class they're aloha jack <laughs> you know who survives the smoker in the economy seat next to the bathroom he's smoking a non-filter paul mall jack he's was there a plane wreck? Shit, I didn't know. It was so smoky. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you jokes that you'll receive the same way, but let me tell you something. I just heard that Billy Crystal, the thing he did, moved me a lot. Let me tell you from my perspective. My parents, I wasn't born in this country. My parents came from Mexico. I'm the youngest of 12 children. I do know what it is to sleep in a car. And America has given me a home, William Morris a career. Well, you know, you can, I can call it that kind of, you know, I don't sell oranges off the freeway no more, you know, what happening, dude. But to appeal to Americans to give, not to someone who's way across the ocean, who also needs it all, so to appeal to Americans, to give to Americans, and I've been to some of these shelters, I think this homeless pro problem could be solved tomorrow if each of you out there watching would just take the time and just visit a shelter near you. It'll break your heart. It'll make you give. Thank you very much. <laughs>